test. Hey guys, welcome back today. Um, today what we're going to talk about is cycles of our economy and of our business. And there's a couple different things. I, I chose to put these two together because they're pretty much, they follow the same similar path. And it's important that we take note that they follow the same path so that it's easy for us to identify what it is that we're talking about. So our four economic cycles are expansion or growth, peak or boom, contraction or recession, or trough or depression. So when we look at these, we're going to go into some more detail about these right now. All right. This is what it looks like if we were to graph it out and see. As you can see, you start with the expansion in the front in the beginning. We go into the boom. Once we hit that peak, we start a downward trend and we end up in a depression. It reminds me a lot of a roller coaster because as soon as you get out of the depression, you're going back up a hill again. So as soon as you get out of that trough at the bottom, you're gonna start to climb that hill again. And it's really important that we always remember that. This is a cycle. This is not a, you know, the economy is going to be ended if we don't do this. Expansion is a period of initial growth for the economy or for a business. So I'm starting up. My business is going to grow. It's going to happen. My economy is getting better. I'm going to see growth taking place in this part of it. All right. Expansion characteristics are simply low interest rates. It's easy to get money. So as you're starting out, it's very easy for you to get money. The next thing is you're starting to see more new construction projects, not just remodeling, just not improving, but new construction products. Places are growing. You see increases in production. We're outputting more goods. We're simply outputting more goods, and that's incredible and really important. And then finally, you see a decrease in unemployment. To do the construction and to increase production, we're hiring new workers. And that's an important characteristic to remember as we start to look at this, is that we're going to be hiring these new workers. All right. The big idea here is growth is starting to occur, and it's starting to occur pretty rapidly. Boom is the next one. That's the top of the economic cycle. Everything is going great. Sometimes you're not going to realize that you're there either. So you're going to be going along, chugging along, and then all of a sudden, it's going to be great. And you're going to maybe notice it, maybe not. But what's going to happen is you're going to start to see a decrease at some point. So once we get to the boom, the boom looks a little bit like this. All right, our interest rates are starting to climb back up. Money is not hard to get, but it's getting a little bit more difficult to find. All right? Construction is starting to slow. It's not growing. It's just maintaining. Our production is also maintaining. All right? The example I used in class is, is in the expansion, you're working 38 hours a week. In the boom, maybe you're working 48 hours a week. All right? And we have virtually no unemployment. Most people that want to work and are willing to work have jobs and are working. The big idea here is that new growth is occurring, and that's really important for us to remember. The next period is that recession period, and that's that downward trend. So on our roller coaster, expansion is we're going up the first hill. Boom is we're crusting over that first hill, and now we're going down that hill, and that's the recession part. Everything is starting to slow just ever so slightly, okay? The beginning of our downfall. 2008, we had a, a big uh, recession. They call it the Great Recession. They say we never got truly into that depression area. Um, if you talk to certain people, that's what they'll tell you. But for the most part, we would see that, and, and it would kind of be there. So characteristics of a recession is interest rates are starting to climb. It's really becoming more difficult to get money. It's not impossible yet, but it's becoming more difficult. Your construction projects are slowing. You're a construction worker. You were working 48 hours a week. Now you're working 40. You work in production. You're also getting your hours cut. Okay. Maybe you're starting to see some layoffs happening in those jobs where people are starting to not be able to find a job that want to work. And then that would start that entire process of us being uh, having an increase in our unemployment. All right. Gro growth is slowing and starting to decline. That's the overall message here. The last one is the depression or trough. The bottom has come, things are the lowest. Think the Great Depression. Everything was terrible during that time. Our history books tell it like a tale where everything was great in the early part of 1929, then all of a sudden everything was terrible for the 30s until we got into World War II. Things are the lowest. It's been a struggle. The people are still holding together. The depression characteristics are interest rates are high. It's really hard to get money. And if, it's, if you can get money, it may not be the most 
economical thing for you to do. Construction all but stops. You might see some main projects happening, maybe some government-sponsored projects to keep people working, but you definitely see uh, a decrease in that construction. Production pretty much stops. So if you were working 40 hours a week and your hours were cut, in a depression, you're probably working 20 hours a week maybe even 15, maybe you've just been laid off. Because in a depression, we're gonna see our highest levels of unemployment. The good news is, as soon as that depression is over, you're gonna to start to see the very edge of it, it starts to go yellow again. We're gonna start that next expansion period and our economy is going to rebound. And that's an important part to remember, is that even though we are in that depression, the economy will rebound. We're starting to see rebound from the Great Recession, 2007, 2008, as we start to see unemployment numbers go down, more people have jobs. We're seeing a lot of growth in our economy. Everything stops or slows in that depression. That's important to remember. So that's kind of it. I want to remind you guys kind of what there is. Expansion, you're going to see growth. Peak, you're going to see the top. Contraction starts the downfall, and the trough is at the bottom. All right? If we want to look at it according to Kobe Bryant's NBA career, we can see him on draft day. That's the growth. If we want to see him, he's winning championships. He's at the top. Right? He blows out his Achilles and is hurt. It's the start of the downfall. And now if you look at the current NBA Western Conference division standings for the Pacific Division, you can see the Lakers and Kobe Bryant are dead last with a 23% winning percentage. That's pretty poor. So just kind of working through it, giving you a real-life example of how it kind of works and, and a way to do that. So, again, answer those questions at the bottom. Uh, take care, and I'll see you soon.